Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're talking about super poisonous butterflies. Now, I know what you're thinking, super poisonous butterflies? That sounds crazy, right? And I know it does, but it's really important that we know the difference between venom and poison. So with venom, it stings you, and with poison, you eat it. So something like a scorpion, venomous. Butterflies, mushrooms, they can be poisonous. So here's an awesome example of a venomous animal, and you can see how it can be venomous. If we're looking at this scorpion here, check this out. You can see that tail on the end, and that's a huge stinger right there. So when this thing wants to eat a cricket, or if it needs to defend itself, it's gonna take that tail, that super sharp stinger, and jab it in and inject venom. This is a venomous animal, not a poisonous animal, a venomous animal. Now this butterfly, on the other hand, is not venomous. This is poisonous. So with poison, you have to eat it to get sick. And this is a zebra longwing butterfly. This is a super poisonous butterfly. Its body is filled with cyanide. And if you ate enough of these, you would get really, really sick. And they're poisonous enough that if a bird eats it, it'll get sick, it'll remember what it looks like, and it's not going back for more. Now, when these guys hatch out of their eggs, they're actually not poisonous. And the way these things get poison is by eating the plants. Now, butterflies only lay their eggs on a very specific plant, like monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed. Milkweed is a very poisonous plant. Those monarch caterpillars gobble up the milkweed, getting more and more poisonous as they grow. And by the time they turn into an adult butterfly, they are super poisonous, all because of all those toxins that they've carried over from being a caterpillar. These guys are a little bit different, and then they'll actually become more poisonous as adults by collecting poisonous foods and continuing to become more poisonous as adults. Now, one of the reasons that we love butterflies so much is they just gently float along meadows, and they have bright, beautiful colors, and it kind of makes you wonder, like, what are they doing flying so slowly and being so flamboyant? And the answer is, a lot of them are super poisonous. They can afford to be that flamboyant because nobody's messing with them. They're poisonous. Things get sick if they eat them. And that's why they have those bright colors, is to find each other so they can mate, and also to warn off predators, hey dude, back off, I will make you sick. Now, not all butterflies are poisonous. So if you're not poisonous, you do not want to be seen. You cannot afford to be so flamboyant. So like this giant owl butterfly here, this guy is not poisonous and instead is using camouflage to not be seen. So first line of defense, do not be seen. And if somebody does see you, you got that big old eye spot right there. It looks like a big vertebrate eye and that will ah, it'll freak you out. So you fly away, hopefully, or, or crawl away and you don't eat this thing. So camouflage number one, scare tactics number two with that big old eye spot. And then some other butterflies use a really cool method of defense which is mimicry. So some butterflies, like say a monarch butterfly, super duper poisonous, right? If a bird eats that thing, it'll actually remember it so much that if it even sees an image of a monarch butterfly, it'll vomit just upon sight of a monarch butterfly. And there's another butterfly, a mimic of the monarch butterfly, the viceroy butterfly, which looks pretty easy to tell apart if you're a human because they have an extra little black line on the back, but they look really, really similar. Those guys are not poisonous or much less poisonous. So really, they're just posers, right? They're just trying to look like a super poisonous butterfly so they can be flamboyant too, even though they don't have that benefit of all that poison. Now, there aren't very many venomous plants out there, but there's a ton of poisonous plants. In fact, if you and I got lost in the woods, even though we're surrounded by plant material, we'd probably starve to death, right? And that's because the world is a poisonous place. Being poisonous is a really good way of not getting eaten, right? Some of them are a little bit more active and they can actually sting you and that's venom, but either poison or venom, awesome mechanisms of defense. That's all we've got for today. If you liked the video, please do me a favor, like the video. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below so we can answer that question and please share with your friends or subscribe because I want as many people to learn about these cool bugs as possible. And if you wanna know more, come down here in person to the Butterfly Biosphere. We'll show them all to you, thanks.